Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to talk about how to get an internship as an undergraduate engineering college student. So let's get started. All right, so this video is going to address uh, freshman and sophomore year uh, undergraduate students who are majoring in engineering, whether it be computer engineering, electrical, mechanical, doesn't matter as long as it's in the engineering field. So if you're a freshman or a sophomore, this video will be perfect for you. And if you're even looking to get an internship as a junior or senior, that, you know, that's great too. I think you'll also find this video helpful. I just wanted to, you know, throw that out there that this video is geared more towards those who don't have as much experience in the engineering field yet. In the long run, you'll be very happy that you've done it. Um, as an undergraduate student. So with that, I'm going to get to it. The first thing you wanna do is figure out what you're interested in and passionate about. Yes, you're a freshman and sophomore, you still are trying to get a feel of what is all involved with the engineering area. Like if say you're in electrical engineering, you're still trying to understand, okay, what do you like about that? Do you like the microcontrollers or do you like circuits? Again, you may not have even taken circuits, so it could be kind of difficult to figure out what you wanna do um, because it's so early on you just started um, but just make sure you keep an open mind while you're taking these classes and actually go out of your way maybe even after after school or when you have any free time to just search up these things that you don't know much about um, but you're interested in. Maybe you can do a Google search on basic programs such as Hello World and see how that's all done. You know, maybe watch a short little clip on how a person can code that and see like, okay, well, it seems pretty interesting. I think I would like that. I would like doing that and go from there um, because waiting for these classes and taking these classes to see if you like it or not would take too much time. But for right now, just try to figure out something that piques your interest at least a little bit. So once you figure out what you're kind of interested in, look for internships that are aligning with those interests. So whatever it may be, say for example, you do like working on the hardware, then you'll wanna look for internships that involve that kind of work. And then once you find the internship that aligns with your interests, then you want to look at where this internship is at. So is this at a company that you like or a company that you're knowledgeable about? Is it a company that you feel comfortable with? Do you think you'll like working in that area? Say for example, the internship requires you to go into work every so often. How long do you have to work? Work. Do you have to be there at least 20 hours a week or is 10 hours good? Say for example you want to work from home or you want to work online. Um, look for internships that are specifically for that. So not only what you're interested in but where you'd be interested in working. Um, once you find those two things then you can easily figure out what internship you want. Um, that leads me to my next one. So you want to research all of these internships. There are universities that offer opportunities and internships to the students um, at the university or they partner up with a different company and that company um, has positions open that the university then relays to the students uh, so that they can apply to these positions and yes that's a good thing I mean it's it's good that they have that but I don't think you should wait for that um, especially as a freshman because it may not happen um, it may not happen for another semester or two and by then you'll be a sophomore so if you want to get a head start and get that experience in as an intern as soon as possible, then um, I'd highly suggest going out of your way and researching and going on the internet, figuring out what internships are available that align with your interests and uh, what company you'd like to work for. Just don't wait for someone else to do that for you because it may not even happen. I know my university did that, but uh, I don't think they actually started to give us these notifications until we were juniors and seniors. This is mainly because we had already taken um, quite a bit of courses and we know a bit more about engineering. But a lot of the times, it's better to just have that experience or that exposure sooner because you'll be able to have even more experience and the classes that you do take um, later on as a sophomore and junior won't be nearly as difficult uh, because you'll have already had exposure to that as a freshman in your internship or a sophomore in your internship. Uh, so that's something that you should keep in mind. That's something that I didn't do and I wish I did. I didn't get my internship until I was, I think, second semester junior or first semester junior. So I had about maybe one and a half years of actual real experience with engineering and that field. So that's something to just consider. The next thing you wanna do is build a resume that is geared towards the internship itself. What I mean by that is to have a summary in your resume uh, that 
maybe kind of directly talks about the position at hand, uh, what is required of you, uh, maybe even mention the company name, say that you would really be interested in working in this place and doing this work, why you would be interested in all of that. And that could be a short summary that you have um, at the beginning of your resume. So that is what I mean by having it geared towards that uh, internship position. This shows the employer that you are actually taking consideration their position and it's not just a copy and paste resume that you just sent. And I will go into more information about how to specifically build the resume, like the layout, the format, and the different things you should have in the resume as a freshman and sophomore. But for right now, I will say that you want to just have information that is geared towards the internship at hand and what is required of you. So any sort of experience, any past experience that you've had that is related to the internship, then you should definitely put that in the resume. Um, even if you did something small like in high school that you just did with a minor project with a group of people, then that's still important if it's related to the internship at hand. But if you don't have anything that is related to it, then the very least you could do is um, talk and boast about your grades in high school or your current grades now as a freshman or sophomore. Uh, say that you're getting A's in so-and-so class because you're interested in it and it shows that you're a good listener and you're able to learn new things. Obviously, these employers are not expecting you to have a lot of experience, so they will fall back on your grades and um, see where you're at currently in college. Uh, so that is definitely something you should definitely highlight in your resume. If everything goes well and um, the employer likes your resume and they think that you'd be a good fit for the intern position, then they'll set you up for a interview. So that's where I'm going to go into how you'd be able to do well on the interview in order for you to get the internship. So when you go into that interview, you want to really stress the fact that you are very interested in the actual position because at the very least you have to show that you're actually interested in what you're going to do. You want to stress your grades again, not only on the resume, but also in the interview and how you've been able to um, do well in these classes because you are a disciplined student. You will probably be asked a couple of behavioral questions. Questions. So because of that, you'll want to probably rehearse maybe 30 seconds before the interview and at least have two or three uh, examples of any sort of conflicts or complications that you've come across and what you did to overcome it and how you did it as well as any sort of teamwork you've done and how you're able to work with others. Um, just try to come up with some examples before this interview because they will ask you about that. So uh, maybe two or three of those and make sure they are you know real examples and you are able to explain okay this is the issue, this is what happened, um, we were working on this, so and so was doing this but I was able to resolve that conflict by doing this. Um, or for example, you're currently working on a program and you ran into some sort of a bug and you did these certain steps to uh, figure out how to get around that bug or to solve it. Preparing for these examples and going into detail about them um, helps with the interview because the employer will see that you're being honest, that you are actually learning from your mistakes or you're understanding what you need to do to solve a certain thing. They know that you're able to uh, problem solve situations and also work with others. So all of those things are very important to the employer, more so than the actual technical skills that you have because they don't expect you to have any. It's an internship, so they expect you to learn from this internship. That's the whole point of it. So if you do all of that, then you are more than likely to get the internship as a freshman and sophomore. For me personally, I didn't apply to any internships until I was a junior. Um, so I had a bit more experience, but even then, the interview that I went to for that internship was more about the interviewer asking me and figuring out how I would go about solving problems. And they were more so looking to see if I could help with their, with their situation. They were just looking to see if I was able to help in their department, in their area. And I will be honest, I ended up saying that I don't know how to solve it, but that I would be more than willing to learn everything that was involved and in how they got to that problem. And then from there, actually figure out what the solution could be. So I was just being honest and that was enough for them. Um, that right there just showed that I was straightforward. I wasn't trying to hide anything. I wasn't being sneaky or anything. So for the interviewer, um, decided to hire me. So that was actually really awesome. And ever since then I worked at that particular place as an intern for uh, the next two years until I graduated and then I 
found a full-time job at this place. And that's the other thing, to get an internship at a company that you like because it makes it that much easier to find a full-time position at that same company when you do graduate because you already know what the work environment is like at that company and the workers there are more comfortable with you. They know who you are. They know you're not crazy or a psycho or anything. Um, so they trust you and they're, like I said, more likely to hire you and give you a full-time position. So yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope you guys like this video and if you would like to see more, then please let me know in the comment section down below and thank you for watching. Bye.